I have a, a strong feel that uh, uh, people were actually not exposed to contemporary art practices. And uh, Vanilla has actually brought that possibility uh, to, for people to kind of visit and understand these projects, I think. Uh, that's not only the case, I mean, if you really look at uh, you know, how the, the pioneer was initiated, it triggered, you know, many arguments in, in Kerala and social demise. People were very curious on what this project is all about. And it had created some kind of an enigma in people's mind that, and that itself, in fact, for the first edition, the first 15 days, we had the maximum crowd I mean, until they did really look at them. That curiosity was built around the whole project. And slowly and you know, gradually, like when I mean, we have seen this, uh, uh, the people are actually in need of art. I mean, you know, they actually want to kind of see projects of the scale. And there is a consistent uh, interest which you can see in learning. And you know, they themselves are educating on their own, I mean, to some extent. Uh, and I think uh, it's, it's a national issue. I mean, if you really look at why contemporary art practice is not something of the relevance or you know, of the discourse in today's time, it is also because we don't have infrastructure for people to kind of go and see what kind of practices are happening. So Binala is almost like a, a temporary Period, I mean, which is almost like a season, assumes a character of a you know, museum with this heavy conversations on you know, very socially relevant political subjects. So people are drawn to that from uh, uh, with an interest to kind of understand things much better. I think I want to give a lot of credit to the society uh, of Kerala, which has a certain you know, understanding about maybe the social political issues in a, maybe through different mediums. So uh, what we have learned after doing this uh, three editions is like the comments which we heard in the first edition has gradually changed, almost a completely changed today because they know you know how to even see an artwork. I mean which is I, I think I mean one of the tremendous changes. And one point I would like to say in the same context of like reaching out to an audience is the way also the language is playing a big role now because actually Malayalam language never had you know, the right amount of power to articulate the contemporary practices. I mean, if you really look at today, the people who are walking in to see an artwork, they prefer reading the Malayalam text, though they are very well versed in the English language. So there is kind of sense of reaching out to people even through the literature of it. So there is this new vocabulary being built around you know, the, 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 the language. So it's, 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 I think it's almost like everything put together. The curiosity, the infrastructure, the possibility. We are seeing international art practices, you know, which is they have never got the opportunity to kind of see anywhere. So. Uh, the, I think the best thing it is doing is that you know, through that process is changing the perceptions. So, I mean, people have that tendency. Once something changes the perception, they you know, start liking it, they start loving it.